Hello? Hey, Barack. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> That's not really something you say. Oh, you don't celebrate? No one celebrates Black History Month. We just honor and remember great African Americans. Oh. What's wrong? Well, I just sent you a big ice cream cake. That's a black Mount Rushmore. Jesus, Donald, who's in the cake? MLK, Frederick Douglass? Nah, I went with four Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Barack, it's Donald. You still on vacation? Yes. I'm on vacation, too. A 20-minute vacation from signing executive orders. That's not really a vacation. Then why am I in the Oval Office wearing nothing but flip-flops and a Speedo? I don't want to imagine that. You don't have to. I just texted you a picture. Please don't. Oh, God. I know. I should have crossed my legs. <laughs> hey, Bear, why are they calling Steve Bannon the man behind the curtain? Well, because he's a shadowy, seldom-seen figure believed to be driving a lot of decisions and holding a lot of power. Oh, well, that's not true at all. It's not? Hang up. Steve says I have to go. <laughs> Hello? There, it's me again. I'm on fire this week. Did you hear how I told Mexico's president if he can't get his bad hombres under control, we'll send in troops to clean up the mess ourselves? Pretty tough talk for a guy who's scared of stairs. Who told you that? I dare you to say that to my face. No problem. Why don't you meet me at the top of the Statue of Liberty? You son of a bitch. Hello? Hey, Barack, why do people keep saying such mean things about my pal, Steve Bannon? I think people are upset that you're giving him all these shady jobs in the administration. Hey, I pledge to create jobs. I just forgot to mention they'd all be for one guy. Goodbye, Donald. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm making him cake boss. <laughs> hey, Bear. Hi, Donald. What's up? Oh, not much. How are you? I'm fine, Donald. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. No travel problems lately? No. Really? When you and Michelle went to the Virgin Islands, you didn't have trouble getting back into the U.S.? Donald, I'm not a Muslim. Right. You must have pulled some strings. <laughs> Hello? Iraq, it's me. Got a tech? I guess. Great. When you were president, did you ever have an advisor that put an executive order on your desk and said, sign this, you dumb orange tool? No. Okay, me neither. Hey, Barack, did you hear I had a screening of Finding Dory in the White House Theater a couple of days ago? I heard about that, Donald, but I believe there are larger issues we should discuss. Oh, is this about all those executive orders I signed? Pretty cool, right? I don't think cool is the term I'd use. Seems pretty cool to me. Bannon said that for every ten papers I signed, I get to watch another cartoon. I don't even have to read them. I just signed them. Donald, that's incredibly irresponsible. You are... Oh, 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 I just signed another ten during this phone call. It's going to be Wreck-It Ralph time tonight. Hey, Barack, did you hear I fired that lady lawyer? You mean you're acting attorney general? Yes, and a lot of people are upset. Well, they shouldn't be. Why is that? Because it's all just a setup for season three when we bring her back for a redemption challenge where she battles Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Mike Pence to see who gets their job back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Barack. I gotta say, I don't know how you put up with all the criticism. The press has been tearing me apart. They're twisting my words and making it sound like an anti-terrorism bill is anti-Muslim. Donald, given the countries you signed out, it very much looks like you're targeting Muslims. That's ridiculous. If that was the case, I'd put whatever country you're from on the list. Donald, we've been through this. I was born in Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay, got it. Steve, I got another country for the list. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Barack. How'd you like my speech at the National Prayer Breakfast? Hated it. You made a mean joke about Celebrity Apprentice at what was supposed to be an event for prayer. Are you kidding? Come on. I did great. I moved everyone to pray. Everyone there was on the knees yelling, please, God, save us. <laughs> hey, Barack, I'm trying to make my Valentine's Day plans. It's none of my business. Be a pal. Is there a romantic restaurant near here where I can get a table for two? I know this cute little French place. French? Nah. Vladimir prefers Italian. Hello? Hey, Bear. I hate to say it, but I'm completely rewriting the book on your failed foreign policies. To be frank, it seems like you're just continuing a lot of them. Sanctions on Iran, warning Israel not to build settlements, demanding Russia leave Crimea. Yeah, but Australia, we're going to hit those dingo lovers so hard, they'll think it's winter in the summer. Actually, they're in the southern hemisphere. They do have winter in the summer. No, I'm talking about nuclear winter. Jesus. <laughs> 
Have you seen me, Bear? It's been one executive order after another. Yeah, kind of odd you didn't approve of presidents issuing executive orders back when I was doing it. That's because I didn't know how much fun it was. I just thought it was making all Asian people Japanese. You can't do that. Too late. Signed it. Sent in the Smithsonian. Bear, I'm so smart. Doesn't really seem like it. Get this. I put in three tweeting toilets in the White House. Tweeting toilets? Yeah, I always like to tweet while sitting on a toilet. But sometimes I want to tweet, but I don't have to drop a duke. So I just put these tweet toilets with no plumbing, no water, just toilets for me to sit on. And that's what you're on now? No, actually, I'm on a real toilet. I just went, oh, crap. I'm on a tweet toilet. Jared, get in here, please.